Don't worry, Concrete Mega Eagle!
I'm really enjoying working with this bit of horn here. Um, it's just it's just coming up so beautifully. Uh, I think this is going to be lovely when I get it polished. Um, what I will say, uh, right, it smells really strong. I actually really like it because um, because it kind of reminds me of uh, being around the farriers when they stick shoes on the horses and that you know they burn. They burn. Uh, they take the hot shoe and stick it on the hoof to to like take any irregularities out of the hoof. I think um, I don't know why they do it to be honest, <laughs> but it fucking stinks like burning hair. You know, uh, it's a bit like that mixed with the smell of pork scratchings, which are also also quite like. <laughs> what I'd say is if you if you don't like either of those two things, then uh, you're probably not going to get on very well working horn because like they're quite. Uh, like marmite smells, you know. You probably either love them or hate them. But this is this is lovely. It's starting to starting to show some nice some nice patterns coming through. This is like this is just white and black. This bit of horn. Um, you know, I think it's going to work on this knife. Um, the other bit of horn I got is sort of tortoise shell, so it's got um, it's got the, the white. Um, the black's not quite so black, uh, but it's also got some some sort of uh, amber browns in there. You know, it's really really beautiful. Horn's good. This is fun. We'll get it polished up nicely. Uh, this is the pommel. I'm just uh, there's a bloke that makes um, uh, handmade walking sticks and that, or shooting sticks. And I got I got um, lots of little discs of stuff off him. This is a a little disc of cow horn, uh, not horn. What am I talking about? I'm using horn for the handle. Uh, this is cow bone. Yeah, I might go to the butcher. And get a load of it because uh, apparently this stuff polishes up quite nicely. As with a bone, never played with it before, but I'm going to stick stick a little disc of the um, cow bone in the in the pommel here, and then flatten it off and polish that up just to see what it's like. There we go. It's not coming out of there in a hurry, is it? Oh god. Okay, we're, we're all done, and I'm really happy with the knife, yeah? Now Rambo's, Rambo's come to say hello. Uh, <laughs> so toothpicks from what I can make out weren't really, uh, weren't really meant for the sort of work that Bowie's were meant for. Bowie's are a lot heavier, you know, it's a fighting knife, but also a... A bush knife as well at the same time isn't it you know you can skin a buffalo with it but uh, you know uh, also deflect someone else's uh, blade with the with the nook on the back of back of yours but this is just for what pub fights and uh, 
saloon fights because that's what they had in the west isn't it the wiggity wiggity wah wah west god I wish I lived in Texas eh? <laughs> I could wear this to the shop then couldn't I imagine, imagine going out in England with something like this strapped to your hip eh? let alone a gun <laughs> you'd, get, you'd get strung up I mean, if you go to London and even think about something like this you get locked up don't you I saw the, the Met Police stuck pictures up on um, on their Facebook page the other day and they'd confiscated a spoon. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, Cowhorn's pretty cool. I'm going to play some more with uh, with Bone. It, like, it balances quite nicely as well. It is a tiny bit tail heavy now. Um, really, you want the balancing point just in front of the guard. This, this is pretty much... A little bit behind. Cool. Might make a sheaf for it later, but I really don't have any idea what sort of sheaf I want. Do I want to go down on my leg and have a second strap down around my leg, or do I have a, you know, an on the back sheath? So I can pull it out. Probably a bit, a bit slower doing that, isn't it? It's always quicker to pull it out like that. And it's a bit, bit discreet. If I've got, if I've got a long coat on, I can have it, have it back here, and no one'll ever know about it, will they? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm quite, quite happy with that. Shape's beautiful. Horns come out better than I was, uh, could ever possibly hope. Um, if any of you have any ideas on the sort of sheath I should make for this, then uh, give me a shout. Right. The reason I haven't put one in this video is because I just can't decide. Just can't decide. Yep. All right. Hope you enjoyed this knife build. Um, yes, I love it. The handle's offset as well. Yeah. Uh, I was going to make a smaller knife, and I could have used used a straight bit of horn. Um, you know, and it would have all been in line that way. Um, but this this is this is lovely for a, for a right hander the way the you know that that piece there swells out and fills your palm up yet you've got this area here which is you know scalloped in comparison with the other side and so uh, so it gives you somewhere to, to wrap your fingers and that means the the pommel sticks out a bit more at the bottom which is exactly where you want it so it can you know you can rest your fingers on it and it won't won't fly out your hand when um someone knocks you over against the honky tonk and um, you have to pull on them hey. <laughs> alright yeah let me know what sort of sheaf I should build for this folks um, on the leg or strap behind your back or like the parang I did I did the parangs in a the big parangs went um, one of them I did in a in a strap sheaf so you can wear it that might work actually how else can you wear this knife? Don't know. Uh, any cowboys out there? Let's have your opinion, please. Thank you very much. Take it easy, folks. Bye bye.